If you are a person on the internet, you know Wikipedia. Over the years, it has become the go-to virtual info desk for both the inquisitive and the royally bored, in a way that no printed encyclopedia ever could. It includes millions of articles in close to 300 different languages and dialects on all kinds of topics, including those you didn't know existed and those that don't require explaining. Who writes all these articles? You do. Well. Maybe not you exactly, but internet peeps in general. Articles can be edited by everyone, with or without an account. Just jump to the edit section, auto stuff, hit publish and watch your edits show up instantaneously. I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Take your hands off your mouse slash screen and walk away. What sounds like an internet catastrophe waiting to happen actually works out pretty nicely. Don't get me wrong. Cases of Wikipedia vandalism, ranging from hilarious to purely evil, do occur. But with a little community effort and a few clever bots, most attempts are quickly dealt with. And should that not suffice, it's time to break out the big guns. Like the editing of articles, much of the maintenance work on Wikipedia is done by a community of volunteers, using their free time for the betterment of the internet. The site itself is hosted by the non-profit Wikimedia Foundation, which, when it isn't busy arguing about monkey selfies, also runs other free platforms like Wiktionary, Wikibooks, Wikiquote, Wikisource and others. The whole thing is funded largely by donations to keep Wikipedia free of ads which is quite a feat for one of the most visited sites on the internet. One major reason for Wikipedia's success is that it's a perfect search engine food. Search engines rank sites according to a number of criteria to deliver the best results to your doorstep. And Wikipedia, with its abundance of detailed information, keywords and links, has just what it takes when it's time to pull the most relevant sites out of an endless sea of search results. But is it any good? Everyone can change the information on Wikipedia. So why would you trust anything on there? Well, because it's usually right. Of course, with 5 million articles in English alone, you'd be a fool to believe everything to be 100% sealed and signed waterproof accurate all the time. But in the vast majority of cases, it's good enough. But for all that is holy, don't go citing Wikipedia articles in a scientific paper. Because A, you'll fail that class, and B, you're using it wrong. Wikipedia is for context, not facts. If you want a good overview of a topic, it is unbeatable. Except maybe by an amusingly written YouTube video. But if you want hard facts you can rely on, maybe get a book. Providing the world with information for free sure is a noble goal. Though one not equally appreciated by everyone. Wikipedia tries to cover as much ground as possible. So articles aren't all rainbows and unicorns. They also cover unsavory and controversial things like legs or human rights, but that's easily fixable. Don't worry, I've got a backup. If you fear ever losing your access to Wikipedia for one reason or another, just download the whole thing. All text in the English Wikipedia can be stored in a 26 gigabyte file, small enough to put on a phone or flash drive and carry around with you. In the early days of the internet, peeps proclaimed a revolution. Free information for everyone, everywhere. Today, we see the internet with mixed feelings, to say the least. But in times of turmoil, it's good to know that some remnants of that dream still stand. Distributing knowledge for free, through the internet, for the internet. And screen time. A big bag of thanks to my patrons for their generous support. If you too want to download high-res illustrations and wallpapers or see your name in the credits, head over to Patreon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.